All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. What we're going to be talking about today in this video is this little mod right here. Dual 18650 parallel fully mechanical switch. This is the Evoke from Alter Ego Creations based out of the Philippines. It's just a very cool, slim little parallel box. It really reminds me a lot of the Noisy Cricket, which is one of the reasons I really like it. But in order to get to know this mod just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we often do for a quick short up and closey time yeah all right well this is the evoke from alter ego creations out of the philippines dual parallel unregulated 18650 mod i got the battery covers off so you can kind of see down in there you can see your contact is going to be on this side and then your switch is going to be on this side you may not be able to see that but that is actually moving down there able to be disassembled fairly easy and quickly although i'm not a fan of these flathead screws they put there as you can see from some of those marks on there I didn't have an easy, super easy time taking this apart and putting it back together. I really wish they had used uh, Phillips head screws or something like that. Not a fan of these flathead screws. You can still take them apart. You can still get them out. It's just, eh, it's a little struggle. I think maybe if I had a better screwdriver, I wouldn't have, uh, you know, messed these up like I did. But I was able to take it apart and put it back together, clean the contacts. No big deal. It's super easy. I'm not going to do it now because look at the condition of my screws. Evoke logo laser etched on there. And on the back, it also says evoke, but you can see that the QUE doesn't quite line up on the red body one. But when I before I switched this out, it did line up. But for some reason on the black one, it does not line up. I don't know. Manufacturing inconsistencies. It doesn't really bother me, but... Oh man, I could see that really bothering people. Plenty of space up here for venting, and your button, although it is Ultim, it is a nice, polished, transparent Ultim. I'm still not a huge fan of that color, but this is honestly the least offensive Ultim I've run across. You can see the button is kind of bent down right here to sort of follow the lines of the mod, and it's a very smooth, short press. Really very perfect for holding in your hand exactly like this and pressing with your thumb. It's not crunchy. It's not grindy in any way. It's just a smooth, short throw. This isn't a spring-loaded 510 or, okay, it, it kind of is. There's just no springs in there. What I should call it is a self-adjusting 510. You're not going to be able to raise or lower that using a flathead screw. It's all self-adjusting on the inside and everything I have put on here has worked and fired perfectly with no issues. Since it's dual parallel, both batteries go in positive side towards the top, which means means you're going to be looking at the negative sides. And then you have these silver plated thumb screws that Eh, they're not too difficult to get in. You can usually just get them finger tight. And then there's a little notch right here where you can take it the rest of the way. It feels substantial without batteries in it. And when you get batteries in it, it feels really substantial in your hand. It fits nice and it's nice and weighty. And I realize this tank is empty, but I'm just throwing it on here as an example. Yeah, this is 24 millimeters. This Solomon Keys tank is 24 millimeters. Sits on there nice, sits on there flush, looks really good. I have thrown 25 millimeter stuff on here like the rebel and it looks good it fits fine there's just a little gap there's a little it's not a gap there's a little lip you'll see a little lip coming all the way around i much prefer using 24 or 22 millimeter stuff on here and there it is with a 22 millimeter druga you can see yeah there's just a little lip right there but it looks much better than hanging over the other way anyway yeah that's it it's all together we're gonna get back out to normal view we're gonna vape this guy You know, top to bottom, this mod just feels really nice in the hand. It's almost like the perfect, perfect size for my Nick-sized hands. Like I said earlier, it really reminds me of the Noisy Cricket. In fact, it reminds me of a more robust, parallel version of the original Noisy Cricket. It's got that same form factor on the bottom. I mean, not just on the bottom, all around it's got the same form factor. It feels like the Noisy Cricket. And even though it is made out of pure Ultim, which I generally dislike, this button is just a joy to use. It looks cool on here. It's got a quick little soft throw, and it just... Ah, it's smooth and I like it. It's a dual parallel, so it hits hard like a dual parallel should. I have a black and gold Twisted Messes 24 on here because come on, look how cool that looks. Seriously, look how cool that looks. I honestly just like it. There's not much else I can say about it. I've already repeated myself too many times. I like holding it. 
I like using it. I like pressing the button. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. I like the way it hits. It's just a really good all around banger mod for me for the way that I like to vape. This is right, right up my alley. Now, if we're gonna get real serious and play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take all of my vape gear and I have nothing left to vape, is the Evoke from Alter Ego Creation something I would seek out and buy? Yeah, of course I would. And best of all, I found it around the internet, out of stock everywhere. But I found it around the internet for around $140, $150. I really feel like for that price, you're getting a great mod. This thing is so solid. It just feels high quality. The brass and the aluminum and the silver contacts make it really nice and conductive. It hits nice and hard, and I think I've said this before, it just feels like a nice high quality mod. 150 bucks is definitely vape budget hands territory, but I would kind of honestly rather save up some money and get something that's gonna be a little bit higher quality, something maybe is gonna last me a little bit longer. This has been going strong for a long time. I got this before I went to school. Sweden. I took it with me to Sweden. I vaped it the whole time I was there. And I really wanted to do this video because like that other SVU or SUV, United Society of Vape, USV, like that USV mod, I didn't want it to just go under the radar and not end up on YouTube. It's a great mod and I feel like it deserves a little bit of a spotlight. I will look over the internet and post as many links as I can down in the description of this video, as well as a link to their Facebook page. So if you're really interested in it, you could probably contact them directly. Like I said, this does come out of the Philippines, so I'm not sure how readily available it actually is in the United States or anywhere else in the world. But I definitely feel like it's worth the money, and even if you have to wait, I kind of feel like this is easily worth the wait as well. Am I done gushing over it yet? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have links down in the description, and as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.